So just so you know, this is going to contain potential spoilers for the Mario movie. So if you haven't watched it, go watch it. But I'm sure that you don't care about being spoiled about Mario. At least I wouldn't. So you should just keep watching my video if you still haven't seen it, honestly. But I am going to spoil the Mario movie. So hi, my name is Cujo. I just went out with some friends and watched the Mario movie, the Super Mario movie that Nintendo made, and Illumination. Before I left to go see that movie, I saw from one of my friends, they shared a meme with me that showed the Rotten Tomatoes scores for it, with the critics saying that it was a pretty poor movie, and then the audience score being extremely high. And I'm going to tell you why I think that is. I haven't consumed anything, I haven't seen anything, any people talking about the movie itself or the things surrounding it. I've only seen that score and I'm just going to go with my instinctual gut feeling on what I think about it. From seeing the Mario movie, it it was pretty campy. Like, I'm not going to beat around it. it. It's a pretty campy movie and if you don't know anything about Mario, you won't understand a lick of what's going on and even knowing Mario and playing Mario games it's like Mario as a concept doesn't really make much sense anyway <laughs> like the movie moves extremely breakneck fast and it almost feels like you don't get to catch a breath throughout the entirety of the movie the movie is like extremely feels super fast and they cram so much and I don't even remember how long it was but it, whatever length the movie is it just feels like way shorter than the length I think just because they tried to cram so much into a movie but it it's really like it was really fun to go through in not a serious way at least for me I really enjoyed watching it because it didn't take itself too seriously which I could see like an older like Nintendo fan being like you got Mario wrong DK doesn't sound like that why does Mario have a Brooklyn accent and not an Italian accent and why does Donkey Kong laugh like that <laughs> dude honestly the freaking Seth Rogen laughs are what made the the movie for me it was so good every time Seth Rogen laughed I laughed because of how out of place it felt and Jack Black in the movie I personally like that in the movie they made it so that Jack Black was able to show parts of Jack Black like he wrote a song for the movie and it's just him singing peaches over and over over like this, this ballad this piano ballad it I loved it but if I had like this fixed mindset on what Mario was supposed to be I could see people disliking it for that reason and also as a movie if you're a movie critic I can completely see why a movie critic would not like this movie because like I said earlier it's a pretty campy movie and if you were going into it expecting like a great film it's not as a film like that great but just the fact that I was able to sit with my friends and a lot of us were able to just all of us are just fans of Mario in some form I love Super Mario 64, that's probably the footage I'm going to use for talking about this. But I have friends who love Super Mario Galaxy, I have friends who love Super Mario Sunshine. I love all these games too, but uh, 64 is my favorite. But the movie was able to incorporate elements of like each Mario game, even like Super Mario 3, or like the newer Mario games, or like the first Mario games. And I honestly think they came out with a blend of pop culture and just Mario and Nintendo that turned out really good honestly and a little thing I think I noticed too is in Bowser's castle when they're having like that rock party rock festival thing that Bowser has going on in this castle I think that was F-Zero music I freaking love F-Zero dude but yeah anyway I could totally see the movie kind of reflecting your own mental state too because I could see an older version of myself actually disliking the movie that it was campy why didn't they do stuff this way or why didn't they do stuff this way why does Mario not sound Italian why is Princess Peach mentoring Mario, this doesn't seem right. If you're a pretty cynical person and have a, a gloomy outlook on life, I could see you walking away from this movie not liking it. If you're a movie critic, I could see you also walking away from this saying, this isn't a really good movie, this isn't the fixed idea that I have for a movie. When I watched this movie, I felt like it was a celebration of Mario combined with really showcasing the actor's abilities as people and not just as characters like you got to see Jack Black you got to see Seth Rogen at least those are like the notable two actors I walked away with remembering because you have Seth Rogen's 
you know, you have his laugh, and then you have Jack Black and his ability to just be himself when it comes to music. And I'm like, it didn't even feel like Bowser. It just felt like Jack Black in most of the parts. But if you don't have a fixed idea of what a movie is supposed to be, I honestly think that you could walk away really enjoying this regardless if you know that much about Mario or not, and I think you can kind of have that approach to anything in life too. I think people should really focus on not being critics and consume stuff in a non-biased way. You can make an argument that a critic tries to be non-biased, but normally critics have a developed taste for things that they enjoy and they like, and I've been completely guilty of this too. I For a long time I was like, I need to watch movies that are meaningful and spend every moment of my time trying to pay close attention to a movie and see if they're clicking the right things when sometimes I think you should really just pay attention to how you're feeling while watching a movie and then not see if it's checking the boxes or if it's creating a certain emotion for you because I think that's where I get caught up is typically I like to watch dramas and almost feel kind of doom and gloomy and sad with a lot of movies when watching the Mario movie it just felt really bright and nice with a little bit of existential dread sprinkled in there for whatever reason. I kind of liked that touch. I thought it actually took me by surprise coming from a movie that Nintendo approved of, to be honest. But I would recommend you just watch this movie and see what thoughts your mind generates because I th honestly think this movie could really reflect that where you're at in life. For me, I walked away from this really enjoying it. It's definitely a family movie. It's not like a serious drama. Me being in my early 20s, that's what we tend to like. My age group, we like serious dramas or we like quote unquote like meaningful movies or just really tacky horror movies. But I think you should really try to find something to enjoy about everything you consume. And if you don't like it, like look for why you personally don't like it instead of jumping on other people's opinions. At least that's what I try to do. I try to really formulate a concrete opinion on my own first before I consume other people's opinions or see what other people are saying online. Essentially, I'm trying to tell you to take your power back and just consume stuff and do things that you enjoy instead of giving that to other people and letting them decide how you're supposed to feel about something. Because if everyone hated this movie, would you still like it? Like if you enjoyed the movie and everyone else still hated it, would you still enjoy it or would you be like, Oh, I'm supposed to not like this movie. I don't like this movie. For me, I would still enjoy the movie. And a criticism that I will give the movie is it had too many Mamma Mia jokes that I just did not like. By the end of the movie, like the slow motion Mamma Mia was grinding my gears a little bit. I was like, okay, I've had enough of that joke, man. Yeah, I hope we get more stuff like that, honestly. I know Illumination gets dogged on quite a bit, but I honestly think they did really well with that movie. I think the movie could have definitely been a lot worse, and I still think it was really good for what it was. Felt like TikTok crammed in a movie a little bit. It was really fast paced for someone like me, and I, like I said, I like to consume slow dramas, but just watch it and see how you feel. But I, di I just barely watched this with my friends. My friends all loved it too, so I just wanted to hop in front of the mic and just kind of give a raw thought. Still working on a couple videos. Uh, hopefully this commentary video will keep you sufficed. Cujo keeps you sufficed for uh i don't know however long i take to work on those i guess but yeah that's all i have for you go watch some mario or something maybe the sonic movie too if you haven't watched that yet feeling lucky then go play mario and sonic at the olympics something like that i don't know but i'm gonna bounce so goodbye now